Hello and welcome back to our second demo video dealing with chapter 10. So in chapter 10 we talked all about uh, depreciation, amortization, uh, went over the three methods of depreciation, um, looked at um, how do we um, amortize um, and, de uh, and deplete natural resources, how do we amortize uh, any intangible assets. So in this chapter, or I'm sorry, in this problem, 10-4B, um, uh, which does coincide with your homework problem, uh, problem 10-4A. Uh, so real quick, uh, this problem deals with changes in depreciation. Not a problem, super easy to do. Okay, So they tell us that at the beginning of 2013, Sullivan Company... Um, acquired some equipment, which cost them $300,000. At that time, the company estimated that the equipment would have a useful life of six years and a salvage value of $30,000 at that time. Okay, so we buy the machine, we have our cost, we make our estimates, right? How long do we expect this piece of machinery to last us? And what do we expect to get out of that machine at the end of its useful life, meaning how much can we sell it for when we're done with it, okay? They use straight line, perfect. They record depreciation at the end of the year, not a problem. They go on to tell us that, hey, during 2015, which is the third year of the equipment's life, the company's engineers recognized that their expectations and estimated that the equipment, um, or the useful life of the equipment, is actually going to be seven years, not six years. Okay, not a problem. Um, they go on to tell us that the estimated salvage value was not changed at during year 2015. However, during 2018, the company estimate uh, re-estimated the salvage value of that piece of equipment. Okay, so, I know there's a lot going on here but it's super easy, trust me, okay? So what we need to do is use straight line method. We need to calculate depreciation expense and accumulate depreciation over the useful life of this asset, incorporating any changes, okay? So what I did was I went ahead and set up our spreadsheet a little bit, okay? We know in the beginning we gotta calculate what the depreciation is. We can do that. And then we have our chart where we list our uh, depreciation. And let's do this. So we only need to go to, down to 2019, okay? So what we're gonna do first is calculate or determine what is the depreciable expense or what is our depreciation expense each year? Remember, we're doing straight line, okay? So they tell us that the when they bought the machine, it has a cost or we'll say an initial book value of three, oh, $300,000, okay? Okay, they tell us that in the beginning, Salvage value was guesstimated at $30,000. To figure out our depreciable cost, we need to subtract the book value from the salvage value, which is B3, okay? We get 270 grand. We know from the beginning, when we start, our useful life is guesstimated at six years. We now need to figure out what our um, depreciable expenses, or I'm sorry, our depreciation expenses by taking depreciable cost and dividing it by the useful life. Just B5. Okay. So at this time, our depreciation expense for years 2013, 2014, and 2015 are going to be the same. That it's going to be that $45,000. So I'm going to plug that in. Right, I got forty-five thousand dollars uh, for two thousand thirteen. Same thing for fourteen. Same thing for fifteen. That did not work. There we go. 
Okay, so we need to figure out what is the, um, bear with me here, during 2015, the third year of the equipment's life, the company engineers reconsider their expectations. Okay, so we're going to do 2013, 2014. Those are the depreciations we need, right? What's our accumulated depreciation? Well, that's easy. We just add up all the depreciation expenses that we've taken uh, throughout the life of the equipment, right? So we're going to say it's the beginning of 2015, right? Because the problem really doesn't tell us exactly when. They say that, hey, during 2015, uh, third year of the company or third year of the equipment's life, the company engineers reconsider their expectation and estimated that the equipment's useful life would probably be seven years in total. Okay, so let's think about it this way. When we get to 2015, and we're going to say beginning of 2015. Bear with me here. Okay, oh, there we go. Beginning of 2015, right? The first thing we need to know is what is the book value of our um, piece of equipment? Well, that's easy right? The book value is the original cost, which is $30,000 or $300,000 minus our accumulated depreciation up to 2014. Okay. It's $210,000 is the book value. What's the salvage value? Well, they tell us that during 2015, we're in the third year of the equipment's life. We don't change our guesstimate of the salvage value, right? That comes later in time. So we're at the beginning of 2015. These uh, engineers still consider, or still believe rather, that the salvage value is still gonna be $30,000 on this machine, okay? The depreciable cost is, oh, sorry, book value minus the salvage value we end up with $180,000, okay? So now we need to figure out what is the useful life. I'll just say life, right? Well, they guesstimated it to be seven, right? It was six, it's seven. Okay, cool. But the problem was we already took two years of depreciation. So what is the total useful life of this asset? Well, it was six. We depreciated two years. So that puts us at four years, right? That's how much we have left. But the company says, oh, by the way, we think it's going to last us a total of seven years, not six. Okay. So what's our useful life? Well, seven minus two gives us five. So we have five years remaining to use this asset. Okay. We need to figure out what the depreciable cost is. Well, that's easy. We take our depreciation or our derp, because apparently I can't spell, <laughs> and we'll divide that by the useful life, which is our five. We get $36,000. Okay, cool. So in year 2015, what is our depreciation expense? $36,000. Okay. In year 2015 what now is our accumulated depreciation well prior to or i'm sorry at the end of 2014 our depreciable expense was ninety thousand dollars but we added thirty six thousand dollars of depreciation expense in 2015 so by the end of 2015 our depreciation expense is one hundred and twenty six thousand dollars okay same thing happens in 2016 The end of 2016, what's our accumulated depreciation? It's 162,000. Again, I added previous year's accumulated depreciation plus this year's depreciation expense. Okay. Same thing for year 2017. Okay. 
So our accumulated depreciation is $198,000. Now they tell us in 2018, the estimated salvage value was reduced to $5,000. So we're going to assume for the sake of, of argument and our, our sanity and making it easier to calculate, we're just going to assume that they did it at the beginning of the year. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and recalculate what our depreciation is at the beginning of 2015, or I'm sorry, beginning of 2018. So we need to figure out what is our book value. That's easy. We already know that the cost of the machine was $300,000. We have depreciation expense, or I'm sorry, accumulated depreciation of $198,000. That means our book value is $102,000. We then need to figure out what our salvage value is. Well, they tell us that we've changed the salvage value. It's $5,000 now. Okay. So what then is our depreciable cost? Well, that's easy. We take our book value of 102,000 and we subtract out the $5,000. We get 97,000. What's our useful life now, right? Well, let's think about this. The machine was supposed to last us seven years in total. Okay, seven, um, which we have here, right? What we need to do now is figure out what is that depreciation. Well, how much time do we have left to depreciate this asset, right? Well, we had originally six. We depreciated two, but then we changed our uh, estimate and said, oh, we have seven years in total, right? So now we only have two years left, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five years and they told us that the depreciable um, or the useful life is seven years, right? But we only have two years left, right? Because we already used five years of depreciation. So the life is going to be our seven minus our five, right? Seven in total minus five years of depreciation we've already taken. Why are you doing that? which is two. So now we can figure out what is our depreciation expense. Well, that's easy. All we gotta do is divide. 97,000 divided by R2, which is B19. We get 48.5. That's our depreciation for year 2018. What is our accumulated depreciation now? Well, it's 198,000, which was our previous accumulated depreciation, right? The end of year 2017, we had $198,000 of depreciation. In year 2018, we took 48,500 of depreciation. We have accumulated depreciation of $246,500. 2019, we do the same thing, 48,500. What's our accumulated depreciation now? $295,000. That's the accumulated depreciation. What now is our book value? Okay. Um, problem does not ask for this, so I'm just taking it a step further just to show you. Okay. So we take our original cost, which is $300,000. We subtract out our accumulated depreciation. of $295,000, our book value then $5,000, which incidentally is our salvage value at the end of year seven, okay? So that is how you do um, depreciation, straight line depreciation with changes in 
um, the depreciation uh, estimates, okay? When we come back in our uh, final video, we're going to go ahead and go over problem 10-7B, which hopefully will help you with your um, um, homework for problem 10-7, or yeah, 10-7A. So please tune back in for, for that video.